In the Ashanti region, there are some expectations as well uh, because traders there are particularly dissatisfied with the rising cost of general goods and services. So as the finance minister presents the budget tomorrow, the traders are looking forward to easing the cost of doing business. Mona Lisa Frimpong has more in this report. One budget statement and economic policy promised to raise 72 billion Ghana cities revenue to the government and increase GDP by 5%. Now, whether this can be achieved or not, we wait to see when the budget is read. Since the beginning of the year, the prices of flour, sugar and margarine have increased significantly. Courageous woman, a flour dealer at Asafo, sits leisurely at her shop. The introduction of additional taxes and high freight charges are her biggest fears. Uh, we importing Neoma. We go ye. Uh, flat. We be to have flat. We be to have some charges be bray and sign out be three hundred more. Freight charges are high. When our goods are imported, we are made to pay other different charges. How do we make profits? But would they be chrome hano? Charges a good swano, a yabaja one, and on our side, go in your man so. Now watch it and sign what me and you been when you profit. Osei Kwating is worried the price hikes of flour have affected the purchasing power of bakers. Those who are in the, um, the flour business, for instance, we're having a lot of challenges. This morning, today is 15th, uh, we came and then we met a, uh, an increment on certain, price, on certain goods. Sugar is going up by about 10 cities, which is not normal. Other things are going up and we, we, we actually don't understand. So we are expecting that we reduce certain things for the biggest Ahead of the 2022 budget reading, the Ghana Union of Traders Association, GUTA, has cautioned the government against the introduction of new taxes. Anthony Opon is chairman of GUTA Ashanti. Ahead of the budget release, Ghana Union of Traders Association, GUTA, is expecting no new taxes and, if possible, reduction of some of the taxes especially on fuel, because the cost of transportation, the way it's escalating, is getting out of hand. And as soon as the transportation fares goes up, it means it's affecting almost every sector of the economy, and it makes things difficult for us as traders. 35-year-old driver James Akon laments the persistent increase in fuel prices has affected his livelihood. Four prices are increased every day. The litters we usually buy are unable to carry us through the day. We are making so much losses and we want the prices stabilized. To create more jobs, Executive Director for the Center of Economics and Business Research, Gordon Newlove Asamoah says policies should be put in place to support businesses. In this budget, I expect to see what the finance ministry is putting in place or the government is putting in place to help local businesses, the small and medium scale enterprises. They are they form the chunk of the uh, employers. And therefore, if government wants us to create more jobs, then it has to pay attention to the local businesses. Most of the tax reliefs are given to foreign companies um, who come to Ghana to do businesses, neglecting the local ones, especially the medium scale enterprises. As a citizen, what I would like to hear when the budget is read is job creation because that's the most important function of every government as that is going to provide the source of livelihood for many citizens. From Kumasi for Joy News, Mona Lisa Frimpon reporting. Here in Accra, my colleague Enimua Inimadu has also been sampling the views of some spare part dealers at Abusokai and came through with his responses. So um, we're at Abasokai this morning and um, 
We're just coming to have a conversation um, about the concerns of the spare parts dealers when it comes to the budget tomorrow. So yesterday, um, a press statement was released by the Abosso Kain Spare Parts Dealers Association about um, and Guta about um, the issues that they are concerned with when it comes to the benchmark value that has been in the news for the last few days. So joining me is Mr. Eric um, Otri Entry. He is the PRO for the Abosokai Spare Parts Dealers Association. And I just want him to go through um, the press release for us and of course talk about what the expectations are in terms of government's response. So good morning, sir. Thank you so much. Good morning, my dear, and thanks for having me. Okay, so do you want to just go through the press statement with us from yesterday? I think uh, briefly uh, the press release that uh, uh, came out yesterday mainly has to do with uh, the government's intention to scrap the benchmark value. And then as we all know, uh, the benchmark value came in existence in 2019, you know, after uh, the agitation by the business community. It just didn't come up. We fought for it, and then uh, uh, the value, the benchmark value, came just to help businesses from collapsing. Yeah. Okay. So, are you are you worried about what the implications will be if this benchmark value is scrapped? Yes, yeah, certainly. I, I I am worried, and uh, and I also believe that all Ghanaians should be worried, in the sense that. Uh, the effects of this scrap will be terrible for all Ghanaians, I must admit, because uh, as uh, we all know, freights currently are very high. Freights are very high. The dollar, as we all know, is also going up. COVID has also hit us uh, drastically, and we are now somehow recovering. So, uh, you know, not to even forget about you know the high interest rates that probably the government is doing uh, are quite well and bringing it down. But even if at the state in which it is now, if we compare our interest rates on loans, it's still higher than what our neighbouring countries have been offered to their citizens. 